Hey guys, there's a million people outside right now. Some of them are mowing. Some of them are um, weed whacking. Some of them are walking around looking lost. I'm gonna try to edit out the sounds, but I don't know how well it's gonna work. So you might just have to ignore it. There's also birds, there's wind and there's smoke. You've seen some of the pages in here on my Instagram. Um, I posted on there. So some of this stuff might look a little familiar to you. Also, if you haven't seen my last sketchbook tour from a while ago, make sure to check that out. I'm so excited to finally get to share this with everyone. So let's get started. So the first pages is this little collage thing. Um, as you can see, I started in October 24th of 2022 and I just finished the other day. So I don't know, how long is that? I don't wanna do math right now, but that's like quite a while. You deserve a treat best year ever welcome hello nice to meet you um worldwide warmth and then i printed out this this is a digital sketch that i did for inktober of this last year and i printed it out on this like lined paper um and then underneath is paris i guess this page we have like a red theme going on and then i drew all of this like these dishes and and wares and things and this fork here I drew one of my favorite things, which is lamp. Um, I can't get enough of drawing lamps and they're like extremely boring, you know, to look at, but to draw, they're just, you know, just wonderful. And then I drew some binoculars uh, and some costume jewelry and glued in some shit. And then over here, I did some faces. These are all like really stylized ones. This one looks like something that I would have drawn in like middle school. Uh, and then this right here is the base for the drawing that I did of the praying mantis lady. Yeah, so this was the, the sketch that I started with. I can, I'm gonna link to that video somewhere, but yeah. So this is this is where I started. Oh, and then <laughs> this mantra, mantra um, burnout is not real. This is a lot, well, this is me trying to manifest. Here we have another base for an Inktober that I ended up afterwards going back in and doing watercolors on the printout of the final art on more of that like lined paper stuff. And some hands, this is my favorite one. And then what do we have under here? And then what do we have under here? Knives. And what's this? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm not reading that shit. That is personal. Personal. Uh, I drew this while listening to, I don't remember the name of the album, but I'll put a picture of it and like say what it is. Um, and so she was kind of inspired by that. You know, she's got this like, like noodly tentacle hair and then all these bugs kind of around her. But then I also like how I did this with the um, words. And then over here, we've got another bug drawing where I tried to go really graphic with it, you know? Over here, we have notes on song structure. You may have to let them down. Water, this is watercolor, gouache, and ink, I think. And it's on like watercolor paper, so it's really textured. I don't love the proportions of the face, but it's fine. It's still kind of cool with like the energy coming off of like the jagged bubble over the eye. Um, and I really like this blue, like that's like, cornea burning. And then this page I love, um, it's this mansion that's made out of like, I did a really, really rough like ink blob. I used a, a watercolor ink, like a water-based ink. And then I used this Posca pen to write white, to make white lines all over it. And then add all the details in white. Yeah, and then all these birdies are flying up and around it. And I, I tried to like stylize the birds in ways that I hadn't seen before, in like different unusual ways. And then I got this idea like, the mansion is in the way of migration. So it's this idea of like this big like structure human beings have made that's right in the way of the path that the birds are trying to take to migrate, you know? I hate these pages. I really like this guitar. Look how cute it is. And like, I was trying to memorize the, the fretboard on the guitar, which still has not, it has not happened, but you know, we can keep, we can keep hoping, wishing, dreaming, planning, scheming, thinking, loving, listening, um, eating, 
climbing, driving, mudding. Here is a portrait that I did, like a stylized portrait. This is like a random person. Uh, she has an earring that's another face, and then that face has an earring that's another face. And then like a temperature gauge, because on this page I have like the cloud. All weather, rest your down head here. All weather down, rest your head here. Yeah, clouds are, come up constantly when I'm sketching. I just love drawing clouds. I think they look beautiful and they're also really fun to draw. Here I have figures that I did in colored pencil and then I watercolored over them. Uh, I just really was focusing on lots of like movement, like kind of exaggerating, like especially like this one, she's like way, way forward. And then this one's like, Hua. and then this one's like, cha, and this one's like, pow, pow. and this one's like, cha. You know? And then here's me translating a song in, uh, from Spanish into English. Yeah, I love this guy. Here we have bugs. And these bugs I drew all individually on my TikTok. I had this little series for a while that I did where I had people request bugs and then I would draw them. And then after I drew them all, I actually haven't shown this since that series, but after I drew them all, I did some stuff with the background, you know, like added some splotches and blotches and things like that. Um, here we have an abstract watercolor thing that I taped in. And then we have some guys, this rabbit. This is actually a drawing of, um, of my uncle. And then this is my aunt. And this is a drawing of my cat. And then this is a drawing of my cousin. A vase with like a... A, a sticky, a sticky, a spicy, a sticky, a sticky, a sticky, the first snow happened of the year, and I painted slash drew slash origami this. This is sheet music that then I printed out like a piece of one of my digital paintings on and then put it on here and I did the watercolor background. It took me like a long time to make this and like the end product, it kind of looks bad, but the concept is really cute, so... Here we have a bunch of notes about coding that I did when I went through my little little coding era. And then we have some watercolor here. We have some watercolor here and like a lady sketch. And we have women in like hats because I love drawing women in hats. I really don't have an explanation for this page. It This makes me look like I'm fucking crazy. You know, it just is what it is. It is what it is. Here, I painted the pages black originally with the same ink that I talked about before, and I was gonna draw on them with white, but the drawing ended up so bad that I scrapped that idea, and I just taped in all of these different sketches that I made a different day on paper. So we've got, you know, more women hat landscape idea. We've got this, which I finished um, a final piece of and posted that on my Instagram and like talked about it a little bit. Is this like a person throwing up? I don't know what's going on there. I think it's like a person throwing up, but yeah. Then we have this page that I shared on TikTok and Instagram, and it's of different like housing related things. So first we've got this house that I drew. And as you can see, like I cut around the edge to make it like kind of pop-up booky. I collaged some drawings on there or not drawings, I, I collaged some like magazine stuff on there. And yeah, I like the style of this a lot. And then I did this envelope thing. And inside is actually, it's a note that I, I wrote to myself when I was having like a fucking breakdown. So I'm not gonna read, the, <laughs> I'm not gonna read the note to you, but it's in there for me only. The note is for only me, okay? And then, um little house drawings, and then I like this because of how much I layered it. And then I have this house drawing with like a cross on it and stuff. Surprise! Um, it was like a dog. I didn't draw this. I just, I found it and I put it there. Um, and then I have all people who live small connected into a great humble organism. And all these little houses, a tree house, a fishing village house, a RV, um, like a I think it's like a clay house or something. And then a igloo. And then they're all like connected and interwoven. 
because people who live in small spaces are awesome. We've got some more like figure fashion sketches. This lady here who's like an elf person and she like her face is a nightmare, dude. It's really bad, but the pants I think are awesome. We've got sketches here, sketches here, this lady, we've got this lady, and then we've got the most cursed sketch that I've ever seen graves draw ever in my life. This is horrific. And like, just to make matters worse, like it's drawn on freaking paper towel. Here we have um, this girl and then this little girl and this big girl and surrounded by some, what do you call this? Like meditative, meditative line drawing. Over here we have cover of But Beautiful by Elan Miller and Becca Stevens. And so this is just like a, a line sketch, another like sort of meditative sketch that I did while listening to this piece. I did this, you know, kind of coloring technique where it's like, it looks like airbrushed and stuff. I'm obsessed with the airbrush thing recently. I don't know. And then we have some planning for, these are Christmas cards that I was trying to plan out. More drawings of my addiction lamps. And then I really like how this turned out. So it's this painting of this black lamb, like a black sheep. And then I just did the palette on the actual sketchbook instead of having like a separate tray for the colors. Here we have the final designs for the Christmas cards that I <laughs> made for my family. This sketch of these wire cutters. Wait, I have them. Where are they? Of these wire cutters, um, um, more hand practice because I had a panic. I had a panic because I thought I maybe I forgot how to draw hands and I did. I did forget. Um, but you know what? That's how it is. And then I, I remembered kind of, but not really. Here we have the grounds. This is, um, this was my first sketch idea for the, 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 the one speed paint that I posted on here. Um, of like the spring, the spring, um, what did I call it? I call it winter park, spring park. The one thing that I really like in this version is I like that I have this like iPod thing on the ground and then also this little like window. I don't know what this is. And then this dude who I colored and posted on my Instagram as well. He's like super cute. You flip him up and these are lyrics by Jose Gonzalez and then some other shit taped in here. A poem, which you can pause and read if you would like. More hand sketches. And then some more really shit like figure sketches and stuff. Cats, okay? Cat sketches. This is the most horrifying cat sketch that I've ever seen. That is so weird. I don't know why I drew, I, so the eyes, the reason it looks weird is cause like the eyes are drawn straight on and then the face is like tilted that way. I don't know what I was thinking when I drew this. I really thought this would be fine and would work out, but it's like so scary. Like, look at the way it looks at you. But this one is cute. This is of my cat, Snowshoe. And we got more figure stuff, you know, hiding hiding the bad sketches. This is what you gotta do in the sketchbook. This is the way to go, you know? You gotta hide the bad sketches with other bad sketches, you know? Because two bad sketches is not better than one good sketch, but it's more distracting. So sometimes if somebody's distracted long enough, they can't tell that something's bad. That's words to live by. These are jewelry ideas that I have. I I guess they would be made out of, I don't know, like shrinky tank or something. And so we've got, you know, like a little planet, uh, umbrella, uh, grass, um, and they get more abstracted as they go, you know, until we get to this, this pendant, which is the ultimate pendant. And then we have this dude who I just watercolored the other day. He was just a sketch for a long time, but finally gave him some color, the color he deserved. Here we have some wonderful bears. Um, and then we have this colored pencil drawing that I did. And I actually made this, it's called Wash Day. Uh, and I made this for Valentine's Day for my mom, for my mom. And I um, made a print of it, you know? So I scanned it and made a print of it. I really like this bird, especially like this bird just turned out super good. I was like blessed with this one. Here we have some more like practice sketches and stuff. Um, we've got this girl who was a basis for the one. Oh my God, do you hear those birds? There's two birds beefing outside my window right now. 
uh, I did a like a full painting of this sketch. Uh, but yeah, this was the original thing for it. And then mini cakes. Mini cakes. Even in sleeping seasons, I love you. It's like a... This looks like it could be a freaking Hallmark card. So Hallmark hit me up. Then we've got um, an abstract. And over here... I really like this spread like all together. I think it's cool. Like it's not monochromatic, but it's very like toned down colors, you know, that kind of all, all go with each other. Uh, some sketches from a video where a girl was dancing because I wanted to practice more dynamic moves. We've got some portrait practice here with hatching and cross hatching. Some fashion, a little fashion drawing here that turned out really cute. Uh, yeah. And then we have some combo, combo ink and colored pencil drawings. And then here, <laughs> like this makes it look like I don't know how to spell or this makes it look like I don't know the alphabet. Like I'm <laughs> like I'm sitting here like practicing the alphabet. I don't know. Um, I was trying to make a handwritten um, fonts. So like you scan in all of the letters and you make a font that looks like your handwriting and this is my handwriting so yeah that was the idea and then we've got more more alphabet stuff for when i was making the fonts uh this watercolor with like little origami birds on it these are actually i made a, a stop motion film when i was in college that had these two origami birds in it and then like my hand was in it and i like uh, fed the birds in the film. And then we have two hands on like a watercolor, watercolor thing. And over here we have um, different figure practice, trying to exaggerate and do like a mix of different body types. More writing because, you know, I don't know how to spell. I don't know how to, I don't know, I, I'm learning the alphabet still. Be nice, I'm learning the alphabet hand practice because you know the hand panic sets in like i'm telling you this is a reoccurring problem of the hand panic where you're like oh no i think i forgot how to draw hands so yeah hand panic and then i felt better because i'm like i kind of remember now planning for when i drew the three victorian lamp women stuff and they're chilling they're chilling like villains are all plugged in over here you know glow and being baddies uh, some little practice studies of, like, 50s and 60s cartoon stuff, like, <laughs> specifically, like, stuff like Mr. Magoo's Christmas. I know I've talked about it before, and I'm not going to get into it again, because I'll get emotional. I'll get emotional. But, you know, stuff that's akin to that, right? So, these are, like, just some different... For... These are some different furniture pieces from cartoons of that time period. These are sketches of our character, um, Oz, who's like the main character, but they're, this is not what Oz looks like in the, in our, um, in Graves and I, like in our actual, yeah, this is not what the character actually looks like, but look how cute. <laughs> Here, I started this idea, calendar of trees, okay, now, I know what you're saying, wow, that sounds like an amazing calendar, right? And I think it was just too amazing because I really, qu I quit, right? Like, I think it was just too amazing, you know? So this idea, you know, guys, this idea is still out there. If you want to create the first calendar of trees, you know, I've kind of set this idea aside. I've decided it's not for me. Um, so, you know, you can go for it and just make this amazing calendar right here. More watercolor writing combo. This is some sketches of like bar related things. Um, this is when I was designing um, Milk Enjoyers Club, which you should definitely join. Alert, alert, definitely join um, my Patreon. And yeah, this is all my like scheming, my plotting and, and scheming for that. Here we have like a little, I don't know, party going on or something um, with some painting ideas. And look at these cool like little figures going all around this is a painting that i was working on and is still unfinished but maybe someday okay maybe someday it will be finished we have i didn't know you were poisonous and foxglove 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 gouache oh i did this in gouache um like a fo fox a fox glove 
flux glove painting that I did on gouache. More gouache studies, this pine tree, this like other tree portrait. I like this. It's like a, this is like a, another abstract type drawing. It's like an animal burrow, but then inside of all of like the rooms of the burrow is just different objects. We've got some gouache studies of faces. Six studies in gouache. Um, this is where I decided I was going to learn, you know, I was really going to learn how to use gouache. And so this is the first one that I did. And this is the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, I think. I think this is the final one that I did. And I think the improvement is like, I can think you can see it. Like this one is okay, but look at this one. I feel like I just improved so much by the end. And then I also went in with some colored pencil to punch some of the, like the magentas and stuff. Um, but these are, these are really cute. Then we've got a study of a rock in gouache and then a made up sort of stalagmite, stal stalac, stalagmite or stalagmite? I don't know, st stalagmite here, like the things that are in caves, the rocks that are in caves, okay? And uh, like a galactic situation flowing between the two with twinkling stars. I'm like a hoe for watercolor like this, like with the little dabs of other colors in it and the bleeding and the feathering, like it's just beautiful. I can't help it, you know, I can't help it. I love that. We've got more watercolor portrait things. So I drew these quick, some were made up and some were reference of different portraits and faces because I visited a museum with, which had amazing portraiture in it. And I'm like, oh my God, I need to step up my game here. So I was practicing some portraits. And then afterwards I went back in with watercolor and tried doing like a wet, what is it, wet on wet? Like, you know, where you do like water and then you put the color into it and like let it bleed and stuff. So that's what I did here to variable success. And then this is my favorite portrait, I think on the page. And some larger portraits, this really, I don't know, I, this didn't turn out so good, but it's like still kind of sweet. And it's just this like, it's supposed to be clouds, but it does not look like clouds really. I really like how, ooh, hair. I really, I really like how this one turned out with the way that the um, watercolor kind of bled around the face and then in the hair. It's really cool to me. So here we've got some more portraits and we've got another poem that I wrote. I'm really actually, I like this poem a lot. It, the imagery isn't the best, but it, like, the idea is kind of cool. This is written really like simply, basically, you know. Then we've got some mermaid mermaids. We've got like an angler fish mermaid. We've got a clown fish mermaid. This one was supposed to be, what is it, like a blue tang? But it's really rough. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like dumb looking. This one's like kind of roughly based off a neon tetra, but I didn't add like the red. So it's like just kind of a tetra. And then this one is like raw, roughly, rawly. <laughs> this one's kind of like a, a minnow inspiration. And then we have um, this which was the original drawing that I then put into Procreate and finished for um, Solo Rojo's um, 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 Draw This In Your Style. Um, I'll put a picture of it somewhere for reference, but yeah. Here are two abstracts. We've got this one, Specimen 7. Um, located under a yi vam near the southern side of Relslock, a sound louder than that of a merspit and more articulate than that of a brookson was heard by Dr. Morris. And when the sour mist lifted after the thing was revealed, it seemed to possess... So I think that explains basically everything you need to know. And then over here we have nice things for people who don't deserve them. I think I was upset. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, it's like a, it's almost an abstract. It's like a, a piano, but then some parts are abstracted. And then here we have two collage pages with some drawn things mixed with print things. This, I don't know how to feel about this, guys. I'm really unsure. The Sally Hansen and Keith Haring meet, meet and greet moment. It's not a meet and greet. It's like a a meet and greet. That be how would they do that? It's like a nail polish line, I guess. We've got this mermaid. Um, fishies, ski boots that I cut out. You know, like these are cut out too. Mouse face. 
We've got this other little abstract with like houses in it and it's magazine layered up. And then there's also like, you know, the watercolor stuff going on and yeah, just houses and buildings and stuff. And then we've got <laughs> this bitch who's like a, like a really, I wanted to do like a really over designed like character that I feel like somebody in like high school or, or middle school would make. But yeah, so here she is with her pink blood dripping dagger and then some cat faces on the side. But you know, like people are always talking about character design and like how you have to design things to like make sense. And you know, you don't want to add like random shit just for random shit, but like, come on now. You can't say that this bitch isn't awesome. Like, look at her, look at her. Here we've got another collage. warmth to go and all different magazine stuff. And then and we have a drawing of this person like sitting here, um, some like trees growing out of this like marshy sort of swamp and fish and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, so it's kind of like this whole like collage page that like spills on to the other one, you know. Here I have a bunch of watercolor and ink studies. So I sketched a bunch of things in ink and then added watercolor. I also think I did add a little bit of colored pencil. Yeah, I did. I added colored pencil, but this is like the inside of a house and then this is the outside. So that's the idea. And then look at this dog. And then the final page is this, it's upside down. <laughs> Cause I don't know why I do this stuff, but I messed, <laughs> I messed up and I did part of it right side up, the other part upside down. I don't know how this happens, but the Viking longship deck, deck plan. And then I thought it'd be cool to like draw the rats that live on the Viking longship. So like there's rats up here and then there's like more rats with red eyes. And yeah, it's like they all live around, you know, on the ship. I'm burping, <laughs> help me. Jet boat Niagara, jet boat Niagara, jet boat Niagara and end and heavy and prices shown reflect total savings. Um, and then rave reviews, awesome experience, a national treasure, so much fun, no joke, truly amazing, dazzling, innovative, we loved it, visitors love the experience. And that is so nice of you guys to say, you know, like making a sketchbook and then making a sketchbook tour, you know, it can be a little uh, nerve wracking, you, you know, you're worried that people won't like it. Um, you're showing a very personal part of yourself. And just to hear all these things that you guys have said about this sketchbook, it just, it just makes it all worth it for me. So yeah, thank you so much for saying these things. I definitely did not glue them on. So yeah, that was my sketchbook tour. Thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Make sure to subscribe if you like the arts that I shared with you, or if you liked hanging out with me and like the video, I really appreciate it. It lets me know what people are liking and what they're not liking. Um, I'm going to be selling prints of some of the pages in the sketchbook. So if there were certain pages that you like, go check the link in the description if you would like a print of something that you saw here, because some of the pages are going to be in print form. I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.